Welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Uh, today I would like to share information about the Open Day in Imperial College London. The Imperial College London is located in South Kensington, which is one of the top uh, four um, universities in the UK in London. Um, the first is Oxford, Cambridge, and then you have um, Imperial. Um, UCL and King's College so today we went for an open day and the information I am going to share with you is about some of the courses that they are offering in Imperial is aerospace engineering artificial intelligence bioengineering biomedical um, chemical engineering civil engineering computer science data science electrical and electronic engineering finance and mechanical engineering medicine and uh, something else which is also physics there are many more as well um, they are being offering so each of the courses have a different grade boundaries like a level you will have for medicine a star and double a so a star should be in any of the biology or chemistry because that's a uh, important subjects for medicine and for the engineering it's for physics and max they will um, will be aiming for you so for ib they will have been at different points it's not like a star a is 40 42 so the imperial college is one of the best um, is number four in the world for the medicine for clinical and health subject which has been given to in 2023 in imperial what you can able to get when you do an MBBS is you will be obtaining a BSc as well that will be finishing in six years time in other universities if you want to do medicine it will take only five years because they are offering you a BSc grade here that's why it's, it takes you for six years to complete it so in this one if you want to apply for it you need to get an application be done by UCAS um, which will be able to be done in May 2023 application process will be open um, but the applications will be completed from early September 2023 to 16th October 2023 because for medicine the deadline is for um, 6 p.m. which is on 16th of October um, the application has to be completed before it. Um, from November 2023 to February 2024 the interview will be taking place they will be called for an interview if you have been um, get the required grade for each subject and 31st of January 2024 that is the final UCAS deadline application for all other courses um, because the medicine you will be um, able to complete it in 16th of October but for the other subject is going to be 31st of January and finally on 31st of March 2024 the application decision will be coming to you whether you have been offered a place or not this is the place where you can um, get lots of other helps for students like if you are entry requirements there will be an admission test for BMAT which is for MBBS and BSc students and there will be an interview panel will be taking you an interview or giving you a presentation you will be asked for something so all this will be done that's your entry requirements and the application journey will be making an application if you are coming for an international student they will be giving you a student visa tuition fees um, will be able to be getting by uh, help from the tuition fees loan which is being funded by uk government you can fully cover the cost of tuition fees every year if you are because if you are in low income you can't able to pay that much amount of money what they are being offered in every year so you can able to get the tuition fees loan and maintenance loan you can also be able to apply uh, from the government which will be helpful towards your living cost and when you are going to repay all this loan is once you have left the course and you start to earn your uh, repayment threshold set by the government then will be able to take up the loans so you don't need to worry until um, even though if you borrow money from them and the extra help you can able to get is like the scholarship they have IB excellence scholarship for people who are coming from IB board and also the bursary which is a very important thing we, we liked in imperialist for um, medical students when we spoken with the students there they said if your income is less than 70,000 
each of them every single year you will be able to get 5000 for your um, some kind of expenses which is a good thing that i've been here and i really like that options to um, go into imperial but other colleges they won't offer this much imperial offers more 5000 pounds every single year uh so what we would like to share here is um, the accommodation that we went for an accommodation um there are lots of accommodation here which is like little bit far with 30 minutes and if it's in in this building itself there are some um kind of uh, accommodation which all cost um for each floor there will be 300 to 400 students and the per week um it could be starting from 185 to 350 if you are in a single room which is like a small room with a kit, with um, bathroom and toilet you will be paying 185 if you want to share with someone you still pay 185 but you will be sharing with other so this is the outer area um that where we went for an accommodation we can't able to take um uh, fully um the beds and things because we are not able to take that accommodation the only thing is just the outer area i want to show they have gym they have play area as well they have uh, um billboards and everything you can play table tennis everything leisure centers are inside as well for them to keep them occupied um and if you want to go um and the kitchen should be shared only for all the students if you are like even though if you are living in a single accommodation all seven students should be sharing one kitchen and the other room seven students will be sharing another kitchen so um, that will be um and also the one thing i liked in that building is you can have your pictures um, on the door you will be um they will be showing what um subject you are doing and what country you are coming from so all this will be sticked at the um, on the outer door uh, so the people may know like which students are studying in that and which are being occupying by that um, accommodation so um uh, what else i need to share here is um the b mat is very important if you are getting a star aa which is the entry requirements for medicine um you have to do a b mat exam which is um the next stage even though you get the good score the b mat is the second stage that you have to get a good score and then finally you have be called for an interview in that interview you have to do your interview well even though you get a good score in bmat as well as your a level you will not be taken if you not done your interview good so you need to aim if you want to really go for this university because there's lots of students coming internationally as well as here um, everybody will be applying so it's like a little competition you really have to prove yourself and uh, take up that place once you have done that um, your interview they will be offering you a place once you offer your place you still have to uh, do your year 13 um, which is your uh, final this will be given your conditional offer when you done your year 12 and you get your conditional offer with doing all your bmat and interview and in year 13 if you didn't score well you will not be able to get a place that is your final thing so from year 12 up to year 13 you really have to focus you have to put your effort and everything um so uh, really work towards it if you really want to go for this university and there are other subjects as well um there are uh, lots of um subject people students are in the hall if you really like to talk to different department students you can go and ask them about what they are doing what kind of uh, subject they have been taught what um, what is the phase one they are doing what is the next year they are doing so they will be sharing all the information there are two buildings that we see here sheffield building and the um, flemings building um before what we done is like we were, we booked for an open day but we forgot to book our um, each an individual talk like um cv help and the presentation all these things we have to book separately but we couldn't able to do that one but we just went 
um, if you have a chance if you get um, by your luck you can go there and they if they have a seat they will allow you otherwise you can't able to do that so we couldn't have a time to do that um, and finally if you see here they have restaurants here they have um, common room they have lots of other um, food court around available here um, so finally um, this is the useful um, things that we got from the university hope you will be um, got lots of information that I've been shared if you really go there you can explore more hope you like this video um, if anything you would like to get some information please post your comment uh, on the um, chat so I will be able to answer you hope you like my uh, video and the last thing I want to show is the that is the final quote and um, for the people who are in the hostel. Hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye.